Hey everyone, Colin Bodbill here again for ifsecglobal.com. And today, I'm going to be doing a review of a dome camera from Hike Vision. The exact model number I'm showing you today is the DS-2CD2112-I. Let's take a look at the camera now. The first thing you'll notice about this camera is that it's about half the size of what you typically expect from a dome camera. On the back of the unit, there's one cable coming out that splits into your Ethernet port as well as your optional 12 volt DC port. Back to the front for a second, and there are three Phillips head screws you'll need to remove to look inside the camera. Once inside, you'll notice there are no buttons or disk switches to set. There are 30 infrared LEDs surrounding the lens here, and if you pop this cover off, you're able to aim the camera. That's it for the unit itself, so now, let's get techie. Hike Vision's DC-2CD2112-I can stream up to 30 frames per second at a maximum resolution of 1.3 megapixels. It comes with a 6mm lens on an M12 mount, but you can also get an optional 2.8, 4 or 12mm lens for this camera. Thanks to the built-in infrared LED illuminators, this camera is good down to zero lux. It supports both H.264 and MJPEG compression and is powered using either power over ethernet or 12 volt DC. It has built in backlight compensation, motion detection and tamper alarm. This camera is vandal proof and IP66 rated for outdoor use. Lastly, it is also on VIF compliant. That's it for Techie Talk, so now let me tell you what I like about this camera. The first thing I really liked about this camera is that even though it comes out at an entry level price point, this camera is really sturdy. The design is simple, but the second you pick it up you can tell it is a vandal proof camera. The other thing that I really liked about this camera is its low light performance. With the 30 infrared LEDs, the pictures are extremely clear and well lit. I tested it both in a zero lux indoor environment as well as an outdoor street lit environment and in both cases it performed extremely well with minimal artifacting behind moving objects. Now that you know what I like about this camera, let me tell you what I didn't like about it. There are two things about the physical design of this camera that I really didn't like, starting with this wire coming out of the back of it. I always think if you're putting in a vandal proof or outdoor camera, and this is both, you should really have a built-in back box to protect and house these cables or have the connectors built into the back of the camera itself. The other thing that concerned me is that this camera uses standard Phillips head screws and even though it's a vandal proof camera, it doesn't have security screws. The last thing I'll note that's a bit of a downside is that it doesn't have any auxiliary outputs or inputs for audio or alarms. That's about it for what I didn't like about this camera. I will say that, considering the price point, it performed well during daytime and nighttime testing, and I was very happy with the results. My name again is Colin Bodville, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.